Hi, welcome to this bonus live video. Today I want to share a little arabesque technique and combination um, session. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, what I wanted to do. I want to also add a tiny bit with veil. So if you have a veil, preferably silk, if you have only chiffon that will work also, but I like to work with a rectangular silk veil. If you don't have a prop, don't worry, you can do this combination without or with the prop, but we will add a bit of veil at the end of this video also. Yes, so um, next to that, so if you have two yoga blocks, I hope you can see them, let me scoot them into the image, two yoga blocks and something to hold for balance, then that will be helpful as well, because for arabesques, the movement of today's video. Hi, hi, welcome. Yeah, it helps to have something to extend your legs and to relax your calf muscles. So we will do that in the warm-up, stretching our back of the legs, as well as warming up the ankles to make traveling a bit more smooth. So today we were working on arabesques and chassés in my online classes. In August we do traveling steps. And it's the last two days now that you can still sign up to join the remaining two weeks live. So if you want to learn my tips and tricks for strengthening and opening range of motion for traveling steps of all kinds, feel free to check out my online classes for August. I will put the link in the description. And you can also get the recordings even if you miss the classes or cannot join me live. You can sign up for just the recordings and practice at your own pace. So for today, our arabesque session, Let's begin with music warm-up. I will update you guys on what I'm doing later. First I want to dance. Hi Pascal, welcome. You made it. So as always, just a bit of movement to get us going. Hello, hello. Hope you can see me. Let me go back a little bit. Who's there? Hi, hi. You can catch up later. The video will stay in this group indefinitely and if you are part of my online students for August you will get the downloadable version also so let's slide the hips side to side and at the same time interlace the fingers and do a little stretch for this area I have my hands in front of my head and I'm sending my hips and my arms in the same direction for a little stretch Hi Sandra, welcome. Let's do double. One and two. One and two. You can turn out the legs slightly because we will be working with turn out for this movement. Keep the hips going. Extending the fingers. Crossing the arms. Lifting the elbows. Two hips. Dropping the shoulders. <laughs> if I'm talking, <laughs> I lose my rhythm. One and two, rotate up, elbows up, two, one and two, and one and two. Now, let's bring the feet together, hips up and down. And I will be tilting my rib cage at the same time. So my, the bottom ribs and the top of my pelvis will meet. So I'm stretching one side, activating the other, and I reach with my arm towards the ceiling. Let's change. So rib cage and hip meet, the opposite knee is bent, and that same arm goes towards the ceiling. So a nice little activation and stretch at the same time. Up and up, up and up. Let's do one more so. Bring the arms back now, rounding, front to front, and opening. My weight's in the heels and in the balls of the feet. My chest goes back and front. We can widen the sense of it again and then go a bit deeper. So opening, lengthening, rounding, closing. Opening, rounding. Opening. And rounding and I'm extending my fingers so warming up the hands at the same time elbows to the back 
and crossing as far as you can. Yes, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, Sonia. Open and close. I love that you guys get to dance with me two times on Fridays. That's the one I'm circling. A circle in front of me. And the other. Little plie. So the legs, ankles, hips are still working. Outside. Outside. We will be combining our arabesque with different arms. This is why we're also warming up the upper body thoroughly. Now both up and open and close. Up and open. Here I rotate the elbows up, dropping the shoulders and armpits to the front. And open, rotate and rotate. Two more. Three quarter circles. And last one. Now let's bring the arms, elbows up, arms up front, like I'm holding a big ball and then widening from here. My elbows are still in front of me, they're not open too far. And my hands are a tiny bit lower. They're at the bottom line of my top. Yes, from here, let's move the wrists and chest to the opposite side. You should feel this all the way across the top of the arms. And drop here. And pushing with the wrist. And lower. Hands a bit in front. Pushing with the wrist and chest in the opposite direction. Yes. Now step to the side. I plie. And I bring my arm all the way across. Leaning with the top of my hand and I'm rotating my pinky up. Upper body twist. Turning out the feet. Stand. Feet. Stand and bring the elbow back. back. Now over. 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 Step and cross. This is a preview of next week. We'll work on this kind of traveling step in the August classes. Stepping, standing, stepping, stand, step, stand, step, stand, and let's, let's shimmy. <laughs> because why not? It's warm anyway. Little shimmy, rolling the shoulders, slow motion arms. Okay, now for the leg. I want you to think of the knee going up, down, and behind. Up, behind. I'm holding something for balance. And I'm lifting the front of my pelvis, widening the chest. Let me just up, leg behind. Up, behind. Let's do three more. Just to give you some extension right here. That's what we need for the arabesque. We want the front of the pelvis to stay lifted but for the leg to have a bit of extension behind it. And a good way to do this is to activate the front muscles first and then release. So the back will work and release, the front will work and release. Knee goes front, extend, front, extend, front. If you want to have more resistance, press against your hands and let the legs swing. Press, swing, press, swing. These are <laughs> exercises borrowed from martial arts but they help because for kicks to the back we need the same extension as for elegant traveling steps all right one more thing that helps as i said relaxing the back of the legs and strengthening stabilizing the ankles for that we will use the blocks again i will shift them so you can see them next to the comments i hold something for balance because it helps me to stretch a bit deeper so i'm on the blocks lifting my heels up all the way in the bay and then I let one heel sink down slowly. I lift again, engaging my glutes and I let the other heel sink down slowly. Going up, hello, welcome, down, lift both heels, one down. And this is a variation of the exercise. I borrowed this from Stacey Nemour, my flexibility guru. I will link to her website in the 
description because if you use my code Kalida Dance on my website, you will get 10% off all her stretching courses and the straps that I like to use. And down and up. And I highly recommend working on your flexibility. It will help you with everything you do in dance or sports. Um, if you do it in a smart way, and this is why I like her courses, they are safe and they have helped me a lot in accessing ranges of motion pain-free and staying injury-free. Okay, let's kick out the legs. Simply kick out and the arms. Front and back. And let's breathe. Okay. Who's there? Hi, Rosemary. Welcome. <laughs> so, today's theme will be arabesques, extensions of the leg to the back, a little combination, and then we will add veil to the mix also. So before we go into the combination, a little bit of technique or a technique recap. If you want more deeper explanation and more strengthening and stretching exercises, as I said, you can sign up for the August online classes or get the recordings, because after this weekend I will close enrollments for the live. It doesn't make sense for the final two weeks. And before I forget it, tomorrow we will do an online workshop called Posing for Pictures 2. And there I will share all of my tips for um, beautiful outdoor pictures. So if you have an outdoor shoot coming up in this beautiful summer weather or in fall, which is something that I want to do, and you need some tips, check out my blog post. I will link it here for quick tips to help you with indoor outdoor shoots. And if you want more input or if you want me to tweak your poses, you can sign up for the workshop tomorrow. I will link to it as well, posing for pictures too. Or you can get the recordings of that if you cannot join me live. I always, I keep my courses available for everyone forever because I don't want anyone to feel stressed about uh, not having the funds to be able to learn. Something that is so important is to invest in your own knowledge. And I don't want to close this off for anyone. This is also why I do these live free sessions. So anyone at least has something that they can do, that they can take. And if you want to do more, you can simply sign up for whatever. <laughs> so that's my philosophy. I do these sessions for free because um, I want people to have something they can do, something positive, especially in these uh, crazy times. So that being said, for Arabes, what I like to see on stage, uh, if I see an answer, is that an arabesque is a smooth movement, as if you're gliding across the stage. Same as with chassis, something else we worked on today in the online classes. I don't want the skipping, I want it to be gliding. And for arabesque, it's the exact same thing. Hi Coralie, welcome. And one way to make it more smooth is to focus on lengthening the upper body, so bringing the ribcage up as well in the back as in the front, and widening the collarbones, as I call it, the side of the shoulders points to the side. And this lift will keep it even, keep the movement even. I hope you can see this. My eyes don't go up and down. My head doesn't travel up and down. It travels side to side as I do an arabesque. But I try to stay level. So I focus on that. If you work with a mirror, try to not go like a little hop when you do the arabesque and change direction. And that will help you to make this movement more smooth. Another thing that I often see is that um, the arabesque is too, too much of a turn. And this makes it hard to travel with it because you will stay in one place. And also it's, it's a bit too effortful to turn all the way and you will lose connection with the audience. So I like to do this movement with my chest or with both shoulders still visible. Which means I don't turn 180 to 180. It's 90 degrees, so diagonal here to diagonal here. And doing this comes from the feet. So <laughs> you can even practice an arabesque straight ahead with a little step step in between, or just the arabesque to improve your technique. And then you can use it in your dances. So let's work on that first. One thing, you step and you extend the leg behind you. In order to do this, you need to try and straighten it all the way. I hope you can see this. Let me go here. <laughs> straighten it all the way and point your toe 
If you straighten it so much that you imagine someone is pulling your leg, it'll lift a little bit, but you don't need to have it high. Just enough to have your weight all the way on the front leg. Another thing that helps is to pull the pelvis up in front. It will make your leg less high, but it will also make your arabesque stronger. And I turn out the show leg. I turn it out from the hip socket, so from here. I turn it out here and I make my ankle go in. Then from there you have two options. Either from the arabesque, which is behind me, I relax my leg and sneak it to the front, or I swing it around and bring it to the front for the next step. So you have an arabesque and a relaxed step, or an arabesque and a circle. And something that I often see is something in between. There's just like this not living leg or the leg, the arabesque travels and it becomes sideways. So you want to, to imagine your foot being behind you, behind you, in whatever angle you are, behind you, and then you choose by turning out, bring the leg in, or turning out and bringing the leg out. Those two options. Other side the same. So I step, I extend the leg behind me, I straighten it, straighten it all the way. My ankle is out, so no banana feet like in last week's video. <laughs> no bananas today. My front of the pelvis is up, my leg is long, I straighten it as much as I can, so I can lift it, but I don't lift it in the arabesque, and then I turn it out. I keep it turned out. Option one to transition is to relax and turn out and sneak into the next step. And option two would be from here to, to go in a circle with my foot and step. Yes, I hope this makes sense. Hi, Christine, welcome. <laughs> so I'll go all the way back so I can travel a bit and we'll practice it straight ahead. This way you can see if you're like, well, you cannot see yourself, but you can see me. So what I, I do not want to do is step arabesque, step arabesque, when the leg goes to the side without any direction. I want to try to step and hold, step and hold, step and hold. The leg behind me, let me adjust the camera so you can see more leg. <laughs> Hopefully, yes, now you can see it. So I imagine a line in front of me, I turn the legs out, I step and I hold. So this is your practice to keep your leg from drifting and you losing balance. But I turn it out. I cross and step and I turn it out. I cross and step, what's up? Oh, someone just signed up for the posing for picture workshop tomorrow. Thank you. I'm very much looking forward to this because uh, outdoor shoots can be a challenge, but they can also give you beautiful and unique pictures. If you know if you know what to do, and I want to share what I've learned in my experiences. So posing for pictures too, I'll have the link. I cannot do it now, I'm teaching. <laughs> so I'm crossing, keep my leg behind me, but I straighten it and I point my toes out. So outside, yes. I lift the front of my pelvis and I relax, but I turn out and I cross. Hold, cross, hold. You should feel this in the back of your legs. <laughs> If you don't feel it, a trick that I taught um, today in our online classes is to face your back to a wall and then the arabesque leg, you place it behind you and you press against this wall. So I'm, I'm flexing my foot so I don't bump into it, but you can also do this with a pointed foot if you're a bit further away. And you press, press, press until you feel the back of your leg activate. And same thing with the other side. So I'm with my heels towards the wall or something. I bring my leg behind me, so not out, but behind me, and I press as hard as I can into this whatever is behind me until I feel resistance in the top back of my leg and I lift the front of my pelvis. It's a very good exercise also for shimmies and for any traveling steps. You will have more power even when you walk. Let's walk around. Yes, so after this bonus, one more walking and then we go into the zigzag. So I cross my legs, I turn them out, and I hold the arabesque behind me. I turn out, but I don't drift. Turn out, and I watch the ankle line. You can see it even in a tiny video, so you can also see it on stage. 
Watch that ankle. <laughs> Watch that ankle. Watch that ankle. If that works, great. Second option is with the wrong jump, with the circle outside. But as I do the circle, I straighten my leg as if someone's pulling it, and I make sure there's no banana foot. So I extend my ankle upwards. And that's also for safety. So I cross, extend, cross, extend. And you relax your face. You widen your shoulders. The chest can be out a bit in front because it's a traveling step that goes to the front. And you walk around like this. Cross and round, cross and round, cross and round. So that's the arabesque itself. Now to make it a zigzag combo that is fluid, think of using your turn out from the hips to your advantage. So you don't have to one, two, step and hop yourself around, but you will. I'm going back, back very far so you can see my feet. One, two, I'm making the steps tiny so you can still see me. I turn out this leg more than I would otherwise, and I rotate from the back leg. So as you can see, my legs are crossed, but I rotate the hip socket of the standing leg, and I turn out this leg without letting the knees come apart. Then if I create, I can do this even deeper. So my legs stay crossed, but I rotate and I bend a bit, so I can turn out this foot, then when I extend and keep the leg behind me, I have changed directions. And that's enough. You don't have to go 180 degrees, a zigzag, 90 degrees. That's ideal, because then you can do step-step arabesque in a circle or step-step arabesque side to side. Then you can choose. So again, tiny step, tiny step. Turning out more, but having the legs crossed. A little rotation from the standing leg, hip, and a bit of plie if you want to go deeper. But I'm not bending the front leg, it stays straight. I turn my foot out, and I extend, and that's it. Now I can sneak this leg across. One, two, turn out, extend. One, two, turn out, extend. One, <laughs> one two, I'm sure you also have not much more place than I have. One, two, turn out, extend. One, two, turn out, extend. One, two. As you can see, both of my shoulders stay visible. Otherwise, it would look like this. One, two, turn out, extend. And then I close off from the audience. So I want to keep this diagonal line. And then I can travel a bit more easily. It's all in the feet and the pelvis. A bonus tip, this is where we <laughs> left off in our online class of today, is to tilt the upper body towards the audience. So if I am here, facing that direction, the shoulder that is towards you, I drop it. I don't only drop the shoulder, I close the ribcage here. And then when I come around, I switch. And I do this almost for any movement. If I have hip drops, I would drop this side of the ribcage and close it. So I have a diagonal line also for poses. By the way, tomorrow in the posing for pictures, I work with this a lot to make my poses more alive. If I'm like this, the energy is kind of blocked and away from the, from the lens. Like this, it's like I'm giving and receiving energy and everything I do looks more <laughs> dancish. Hi, hi, hi Sophie, welcome. So tilting the upper body, that's one of my favorite things to add to movements when the audience is there. So when I switch, I also switch the tilt. I go from here to here. And my eyes, they kind of compensate by themselves. What I try to do is, I try to look in the mirror or in the camera and have my eyes in one line. That's all you need to think of. Keep the eyes in one line and adjust if you need to, but drop, drop the side, drop the shoulder that is towards the audience. Let's practice just this. Drop, switch, and drop, switch. And if you have a veil or props, you will see this when we do the combo. It's even more of an effect. Okay, let's have some water, hydrate, because it's still very warm. Then we'll try this with music. Cheers.
<laughs> Ooh, also, next month, so what's that? That's September already. Um, the last day of August, 31st of August is a Monday. That's when we will start the next online class four week series and it will be veil. So if you like veil work, I don't have enrollments open yet, but I will add a link in this group as soon as I open enrollments. Then you can join me for four weeks of strength, flexibility and dance for veil work. But for now, traveling steps. So we will go, tiny bit zigzag, turning out this leg, tilting as we do the arabesque. A step, a step. The steps from last week with the long legs, turning out, chest. And this leg stays behind and we'll bring it around now again like we practiced before. One, two, turn out, chest, leg. And the leg will come by itself if you add the chest. One, two, it all works together. You can have your hands here and switch. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. If this is new to you, think of two things. Most important is no banana feet, so no, <laughs> yes, no banana feet, because sometimes one foot, really check it, one foot may have a bit more tension on the inside. This is good for kicks, but not for dance. This is better for dance. That's the one thing. And the other thing is the chest. If you have those two, the rest will kind of take care of itself. So you practice walking like this for the rest of the weekend, and this will help you with poses with all traveling steps because of the foot line and you will have nice arabesques for the rest of your dance life. It's worth practicing this. <laughs> I'm being strict because this movement makes such a difference if you work on the details and you will feel more confident on stage also because it always will look nice and you'll have better pictures, videos that you like more. So practice this and teach it to your friends also. Share this video with whoever you think might like it, because it's uh, public. It's a skill that is worth paying attention to, because it will translate in all of your other dance movements. Let's do one more round. I know I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I hope you can still see me. I am doing a tiny step, tiny step, bigger turnout, extend, chest, no banana, long leg. Tiny step, tiny step. Turning out more, pulling up the pelvis, switching the chest, no banana foot and long leg. Step, step, chest, long leg, step, step, chest, long leg, step, step, tilt, long leg, chest, chest, tilt, long leg. To add arms, you don't need to do much because we are tilting the chest. Your arm will come around even if you keep it next to you. So if you do this, push to the side until the line in your elbow, let's do this for a couple of times, the line of your elbow will travel to the front. Now it's up, you want to have it in the front, and your elbow can be a bit in front of your body. If you have it here, it's a bit uncomfortable. So bring it to the front, rotate, you're opening up here. If you're tight here, stretch it, move it, and circle. And then you try it again. You will feel it in the triceps, the back of your upper arm. So from there, you can have your wrists down, <laughs> or up, or side, doesn't matter. Extend your fingers, let's wiggle them, and shake them out. Extend, 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 so they are not like with no energy. A bit of energy will help you to lift, and pressing the wrist will help you also to lift. So use all you've got. With this, arms open, inhale, step, step, tilt chest, and you will see that your arm does a, a mini snake arm. One, two, one, two, mini snake arm, one, two, mini snake arm, and that's all you need for arabesque arms. A very light half snake arm. When the chest comes down, the elbow travels down, and you switch. And one, two, and yes. Now let's grab a veil and we'll try how this looks 
with a veil. Check the time. Time goes so fast. And sometimes, especially with this kind of movement, if you pay attention to the technical details, you don't need to do much to make it look beautiful. Then it's only a matter of adding music <laughs> and timing what you do to the music, breathing and enjoying. So if you have a veil, you will also feel your arms better. Like I can have them just like this, or I can make a little rotation. And as you can see now, I have wings, and here it was just a veil. So I roll my elbows under the veil, and my hands are a bit in front. So from here, let's try a little mini snake arm. And you can add the tilt, which we will do with our arabesque. And you can look where the arm goes up to make it easier to shake out the arms. Even though a veil does not weigh much, I feel it more. Now with our little arabesque, turning out. One, two, snake arm. One, two, little snake arm. One, two, little snake arm. One, two, little snake arm. And now you have a beautiful arabesque line. And with the veil, you can see what is happening. I only tilt a little. And my arms only do this. But the combination makes it look as if, as if I'm very flexible with my arms. But my arms stay in this area. It's the rib cage that makes them lift. I look in the direction from the upper arm, of the upper arm. Okay. <laughs> One more time, then we'll add music. Step, step, little snake arm, step, step, little snake arm, step, step, little snake arm. Then the veil will come around. I will step back with turn out, bring the back of the hands together, back of the hands together, <laughs> like this, and then I breathe and I pose. From here, freestyle, checking out poses for those who are doing the posing for pictures tomorrow, <laughs> check some lines. We will do one preparation. You wind yourself up, you turn to the back, and you're ready for the other side. Step, step, tiny arabesque, step, step, tiny arabesque, step, step, tiny arabesque. And the veil will come around. You can add a leg coming around at the same time. We go back, back, with a bit of a snake arm, Bend. Oh, I just change it to have no turn. We'll just turn in spot, in place. Yes, again. One, two, little snake arm. One, two, snake arm arabesque. One, two, snake arm arabesque. As many steps as you have room for. Veil to the front, leg to the front. Shoulders. And one, two. One, two. Da -da. Veil comes to the back, I wind myself up and I turn to the other side, stepping around myself, turning out this leg. Let's try that with no veil but with music. So it's a very simple combination with a lot of leg work <laughs> and only arm thing we do is a little snake arm with a chest tilt. There. Let's do calm music, <laughs> nothing too wild. It's still very warm today. Uh, let me see. Yes. So we'll go. Oh, this song is too slow, sorry. I want to have at least a little bit of a beat. Yes. Oh, no, I shall fall asleep. Tiny steps. One, two, one, two, arrows. One, two, arrows. One, two. The veil goes around. My leg comes to the front. Snake arms. And we'll go back in the same rhythm. Step, step, leg extends. Step, step, leg extends. Step, step, leg extends. Okay. Let me explain that 
again, side step, step, the third step, I straighten the front leg, and step by step, and I straighten the front leg. So it's like an arabesque, but going backwards. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Let me go from the top again. Two steps and an arabesque. Slow motion. Five, six, seven. Step, step, arabesque. Let tilt this ribcage down. Side. Tiny step, tiny step, switch. And the other snake arm half lifts. Again. Tiny step, tiny step. Snake arm lifts. And I continue in the line now. The leg that was in arabesque comes to the front. I deepen the tilt and I bring the veil in front. A few shoulder rolls. And now we travel back. One, two, just third step I extend. One, two. There's only two of these to the back. From here, I am in a pose. I'll bring the veil to the front. Open. And breathe and I turn around in one or the other direction. Let's do the other side with no fail. And now we add fail again. A little bit fast. One, two, but not full speed yet. One, two, switch upper body. One, two, switch upper body. I continue the leg line. I continue the upper body line so the veil comes in front. Shoulders roll, and then go back. One, two, a leg extends. One, two, a leg extends. Veil in front, back some hands together. Breathing and opening. And I'll go in the direction of the front leg. So different than I just showed. Because then I can continue on the other side. With a veil, that's the whole combination. Voila. We start with the veil behind us. Mm -hmm. And then start the music again because it will end. It will end anytime now. And that will be the conclusion of today's little session. So you have something to practice with for the weekend. Think of me next time you do an arabesque. Think of the banana feet and the tilting. And share this video with anyone you want to share. Let's breathe. Practice a little snake on. Everybody feels. Slow, slow, tilt. And slow, slow, turn out, extend. One more. Turn out, extend. Keep this line, just bring the leg up front. Deepen the tilt of the upper body. The veil will come by itself. Shoulders roll, a little PA. And now I'm going to step back, seven, eight, step, step, extend, and you can lift the veil, step, step, lift the veil, and drop, back of the hand, breathe, and I go towards the front leg, other side, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, continue, the veil. Roll the shoulders. I'll go front so you have more place to travel back. Little PA going back. Step, step, extend. And you can add a little shoulder shimmy to make a golden arrow. And stay here. Veil. Turn around to the front leg. Other side again. And step, step. Tilt, step, step, tilt, step, step, stay, leg in front, fail, shoulders, one, two, extend, one, two, extend, stay, fail, turn it towards the front leg, stay, out of the side, and one, two, one, two, leg is long. Leg is long, continue. Little shoulder. I'll wait, the music will start again. I'll wait here for it. Shoulders. Five, six, 
and we go back. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. Bring the bell down. Back of the hands. And open. Turn towards the front leg. One, two, three. I'll go back a bit. There we go. One, two, tilt. One, two, arabesque. One, two, legs back and to the front. Shoulders. Shoulders. Little snake arm. Going back. One, two, tiny steps. I know you might not have much room. Two times is enough. Bail to the back. Pose. 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 And we turn to the front leg. Five, six, last round. One, two, arabesque tilt. One, two, arabesque tilt. One, two, tilt. Leg in front, bend in front. Shoulders, shoulders. One, two, back, extend. One, two, back, extend. Bend up, bend back. Repose, 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 repose. And return towards the front leg. Last round. I always say last round, but we still have some music left. This time I'll keep going. No breaks. combination. Let's cool down for two minutes to, <laughs> to actual cool down music. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> cool down music. Thank you for joining me. I hope you can use this combination and or technique. Um, if you enjoy it, let me know. And as said, feel free to share this video. If you want to join me tomorrow for the Posing for Pictures workshop, there's still spots and you can also sign up to just get the recordings if you don't have time tomorrow. If you do, it's from 11 to 1 and maybe uh, 15 or 20 minutes after for questions, answers, because I will be there to help you with your poses personally also. Okay, let's interlace the fingers, press your hands up, lift the shoulders and drop, lift the shoulders and drop. And then bring one leg to the front. Let's turn this on just so you can see. Both feet parallel, lifting the front of the pelvis so you will feel a little stretch in the back leg. Extending that back leg, bending the front, and switching. Bending the back leg, extending the front. So you're traveling, traveling back, traveling back. With, let's have one shoulder and save some time. Stretch it at the same time. Now stay in front and go side to side with hips. Anything that helps to feel the movements even deeper. Other side in front. And up and down. So I will link to my blog post with outdoor posing tips in the description. Where you can find my, <laughs> my latest findings and also some questions answers to questions of students. If you want to go deeper, you can get the video. Next month, as said, let's bring your arm up, lift the elbow, lift the chin, cross where the elbow was up, cross that leg behind, then lift your chest, belly button in, and you can bend it optionally a little deeper. So those who want to join me for Veil Month, Online classes for strength, flexibility, and dance. September will be the month to be. After this weekend, I will open enrollments and I will put a link in this group. So you are one of the first to 
to get the news. You can sign up for my newsletter also, but sometimes these emails get lost in the spam folder. So to be safe, I will also put a link in this group. So I have my elbow up, I'm grabbing it, lifting my chin, and the same leg of the elbow goes behind. Then I lift the chest and twist it. For those who want to stretch a bit more, I will also put a link to Stacy's online courses and my discount code for her stuff. Highly recommend it. And if you want to work on traveling steps, you can still get the recordings. Let's interlace the fingers <laughs> behind, pushing the hands down and rolling the shoulders. Open, this will lift the chest. And then let's move the neck. Move the chin left to right. This feels nice. Widen the feet a bit. Lift. Let's bend the arms so you can lift the elbows and open. Bending straight to the front. You can bend the knees a little, but keep your back long. And then from there, we'll shift the weight side to side. Lifting the chest, lifting the elbows, widening the shoulders. And every time you can go a little bit deeper, but I'm keeping my back extended, as if I'm a table. <laughs> then if I cannot go any lower, I bend the knees and then I round. I lift my hands and I let the hands sink. Bring the feet together. Bend the knees, come all the way down, make yourself into a little bow. And you can round, shift left and right, or come here so you can see. Release any tension. Relax the neck, then gently bring the heels down and the head down. Keep the knees bent, grab your elbows just tiny. Also, you can twist a bit, left to right, slowly come up, belly button in. Gently roll up, arms up, open, 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 open. One arm over, the other arm over, stepping back, lifting the elbows, pose. And that's it. That's it for today. Thank you very much uh, for joining me. The next session will be most probably next Friday. Uh, sometimes these sessions, these free ones, will be on Wednesdays, sometimes on Fridays. It depends on when I have time and what the topics are that we will be covering. Uh, this month it will be traveling steps, as said. Next week we do crossing, crossing steps. And the last week of this month we will do layered traveling steps. So these can be any steps going across the room that have maybe a shimmy on top or traveling with a twist, uh, variations that people have trouble with. So if you have any requests, any traveling step that you have trouble with, let me know. Just put it in the comments and I might be able to uh, add them into the free next video, next session that we do. If you want to do veil work, that's September. You can do the online classes with me. If you want little tips like short videos, um, five to ten minutes, in your mailbox every Friday. This is something new that I have uh, developed this uh, summer. You can sign up for my Tip Drops membership. It will also give you discounts for any workshops that I do. The Tip Drops membership is about six euros per month. And every Friday I will send you a new video with uh, five to 10 minutes of tips, practical things that you can do, stretches or strengthening or dance tips from martial arts, from ballet, anything that I have um, that I want to share. Uh, you will get it in your mailbox and there's a Facebook group also where you can ask me questions. So that's a tip drop membership for Friday videos. The online classes, traveling steps in August and in September it will be Veil. Then we have the online workshop Posing for Pictures 2 for outdoor shoots tomorrow, which you can also get the recordings of. And I think that's it. That's all I have. And the next free session will be next week, either Wednesday or Friday. That's it for me today. Have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy this practice combination and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.